guys welcome back to my channel so I want to film a video on how to cover dark marks on your face um, these dark marks could be old acne scars it could be hyperpigmentation discoloration you know anything but that's a different color than from your actual skin color um, I know this is something that I struggle with um, because I do have old acne marks that are taking forever to fade some are gone but there's still some stubborn ones that are still on my face that I am trying I'm in the process of fading but in the meantime, while I'm in the process of getting my face to be clear um, and free of any dark marks, when I do wear makeup, I do like to cover them up just because why not? Like, you know, if you wear makeup, you obviously want to cover any dark marks on your face or dark circles or, you know, anything like that. So I'm going to show you guys what I do, what my routine is, um, my makeup routine is to cover up these dark marks. So uh, let's jump in and start. My eyebrows are already filled in and I have already primed my face. I do have an eyebrow routine that I filmed before. I'll link that down below. I use the Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer. I'm going to start off first by color correcting. If you have dark marks or hyperpigmentation, you'll probably want to color correct before you actually do your foundation. And color correcting will help kind of mask the darkness and it'll help you lose use less foundation. Today I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime in peach luster I normally use my LA girl pro concealer in orange corrector but I want to try something new so I was in Mac a couple weeks ago and I picked up the prep and prime Pe in peach luster and so far I like it when you color correct you don't want to use too too much so you definitely want to build so start off small and add on as the more you need um I do have some old acne scars from over here like over here um, and just some older ones like on my face from when I had like full blown acne when I was younger. So I'm going to go ahead and start color correcting. And that's why you see my videos that I'm also color correcting here because of that. So hopefully soon they're gone for good. Put them over them. And I'm going to just kind of wherever you have your dark marks. You're going to want to put your color corrector. I'll just put some over here. Um, I don't really have dark circles. At least not really bad dark circle under eye circles. So if you have them, then you also want to color correct underneath your eyes as well. And to blend it out, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender for right now. And as you can see, like my dark marks aren't very visible now. I'll sometimes go in with a concealer, with a concealer that's my shade, and, and just kind of dab it onto the spots that are actually discolored. Not my whole entire face. I'm not concealing my face. I'm just gonna kind of like add extra coverage to the dark marks on my face, depending on where I'm at in my fading process. For the purposes of the vi of this video, I'll just do that. But normally, I wouldn't go in over with the concealer because right now it's the color corrector did what it, what it needed to do and you can't really see them right now now I ran out of the concealer that is in my shade so the concealer that I'm about to use is in cool tan so it is lighter but you know I'll just use a little bit like over here won't do too much Um, and once I'm doing that, I will go in with my foundation. And today I'm using the Lancome foundation. I'm in the color 460 Suede W. So.
so the weather's finally getting really nice out and i don't feel like melting so i'm not gonna highlight too too much but i will highlight just a little bit when i wear foundation i feel like i have to highlight at least like a little bit it just doesn't sit well with me if i don't so i'm just gonna highlight really quick It looks like a lot, but I promise you it's really not that much. <laughs> it really isn't. Okay, maybe it kind of is, but... So I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of my face as well as my highlight with my um, MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and this is, in the, this is in the color Dark Tan. So I'm just going to set everything with this. Alright, and that is what I do to cover my dark marks before I put on foundation. It doesn't really add on that much time to your normal foundation routine, and I don't always color correct and cover my dark marks. Um, depending on the day, depending on where I'm going, what I'm doing, especially like every day I'm going to work, I'll normally just use a powder. I'll use either my um, mineralized skin finish or I'll use my Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder, and I just go on my way. And those are really good coverage because I'm able to cover my marks without even doing much. I have been kind of switching up my skincare routine just to kind of like see what works best with my skin. So I will be sharing my a detailed skincare routine later on coming up so you guys can see what I've been doing, what I've been using to kind of help me fade my dark marks. So hopefully this helps you guys because I know this works for me and um, if you haven't tried maybe this you can add this to your foundation routine if you have dark marks so i hope this was helpful hope you guys enjoyed the video but also please remember to subscribe like comment let me know what you think let me know your thoughts let me know what you want to see just you know let me know what's up and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching guys bye